what's up guys uh welcome to my uh extreme graph theory so in this video uh, i want to talk about uh, uh another topic basically basically it's the uh ramsey theory so i think this one is uh, very interesting so uh ramsey uh, ramsey theory okay Okay, so uh, I will basically prove the famous theorem. Uh, it basically is with Ramsey theorem in this video. Okay, and uh, this is a very deep topic, but uh, I will just give you the motivation. But uh, uh, yeah, I also proved the, the main theorem in this uh, theory. Okay, so uh, before we start, let's ask some motivate. Let's say some motivating example. Okay. I think this is the you know discrete mathematics, or or basically you can maybe you see some uh, brain teaser or something like some count some count interview question. <laughs> okay, so uh any party uh with at least uh six people uh will contain a group of three. Or mutual friends or uh, a group of three mutual not friends okay so basically this means that uh, given any six people either three of them know each other or three of them don't know each other okay or basically simply speaking you can turn into graph theory Right, so this means that uh, given any six points, right? Any six points, if you color any two points using red, let's say I color these two points using red. If I using red, it means that they know each other. So this is know each other. And uh, let's say I using blue means that they don't know each other. Okay. Okay, so they are using blue. Oh, this is not blue. Oh, I should use something. If I use blue, basically it means that they don't know each other. So they don't know each other. Okay, so this theorem basically say that uh, if you draw this graph, right, there is this the uh, uh, red triangle. There is the three points. Whether there is a red triangle or three points where they have blue triangle. Red, okay, or blue. Okay. Okay, and uh, you can play around with, with it. You can, let me just, uh, I, I will give the proof, but let me just play around with it. Uh, let me just prove it using this graph. Okay, so without loss of generosity, I can start from here. All right, if I draw, let's say, every, if all these are red, right, then these two cannot be red, right? Because if I don't want to have red triangle, then these two cannot be red. Then I will draw these two to be blue. Then these two will be also be blue, right? But these two cannot be blue, right? If these two to be blue, then there will be blue triangle, but these two cannot, cannot also be red. Otherwise, there will be red triangle. Okay, so which finish the proof, right? So that means that, uh, right, that means that my first assumption is incorrect. There should not be, there should not be a point which connected all five points have the same color. Let's say I, I draw this to be blue. Then it's easy to see that it's still a contradiction, right? Because uh, either these two must be blue, it must be blue, then it must be blue, right? There's contradiction, okay. So it, so it must be here, right? But there is a still a problem, right? Because because these two must be blue, these two must be blue, and these two must be blue. contradiction. Okay, so finish the proof, right? So you just you just you can just play around with it and see. Oh, it's, there's no way. Okay. Okay. So uh, so this is the the very simple motivation example. So in general, one can ask a following question. 
or fix. Say admin in, right, admin in. And uh, we want to claim that. So theorem theorem is this, fix every admin, every sufficient large party or large people or large graph, I should say large graph. Uh, will contains and mutual friends in um, or uh, an and mutual non friends. Okay, in terms of graph theory, I should say that uh, given any graph, let's say the with the number of vertices large enough, large enough. Uh, there must be uh, there must be uh, let's say two coloring, let's say a two colored graph using the red and red and blue, right? There exists uh, blue click, blue M click. So click means that uh, there are endpoints which they all connect to each other, or uh, at least have a red and click. Okay, so let's call this number. Ram number so R M N. Okay, or oh, basically R M N. Okay, so it's unclear that uh, if you just direct this theory, we know that uh, from from previous proof that we know that R three three is basically six, or basically that's equal to six. But we can prove that six is uh six is optimized. Okay. Uh, so uh, so it's, so basically this theorem just tell you that uh. R M N is finite. Okay, so given if uh let's say you give me like five and five, but right, I can produce I prove that if you give me large enough graph and I part then I uh, could coloring coloring each edges by either red and blue, then you always like five click or five red click or five blue click. So this number always exists. So the most difficult part is to show that uh, this theorem is true. Okay, and uh, I say, so there is an explicit bound. Okay, so I will uh, prove this theorem. Let's prove the theorem. So this is basically the Ramsey's theorem. Okay. So we just need to prove it's finite, right? So the, uh, Okay, so uh, we will show uh, RMN is bounded. Uh, uh, we just prove it's finite, right? So we will show this. I mean, it's unclear this bound is tight or not in general, right? But we have the upper bound. Okay, so once we prove this, then we are able to show, then finish, right? Then it's finish the proof. Then we, we can show, the, basically we show that it's finite. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, so let's proof. Okay, so uh, right, so this kind of question using the reduction, or sorry, uh, sorry, not reduction, it's not computer science, it should be mathematical induction. Induction. Okay, so we notice that the RM one is what, so so it's RM one basically means that uh. You have a graph, right? Large enough. They're always like M click of red and one of blue. Okay. And uh, you can, and it's easy to prove that uh, it's easy to show that it's one. Okay. Uh, because there's, because one means that uh, any, like one versus, right? So, uh, so basically there's no color or requirement click of one versus, right? So it's, but you can say it's definition. Uh, if you don't buy this, then I can say that. Uh, then I can claim that this. I can claim this. This follow. Right? I claim. I can claim. Claim this is true. Okay. Uh, why this is true? Because that uh, if I consider K M colleague, I can consider M, right? M and points, and I say they say they all connected to each other. Then either they connect and they either they are all the same color, right? If if they either they are all the same color, so there will be some click of M, 
uh, or they have like they have like two points. Uh, they they have like two two blue. Okay. All right, so there must be blue blue somewhere. It right? must be blue. I say some some points blue. So it means it's so if so this is two click right? So two click. So either they are all red. If they are red, they have M, uh, red K M click or the either one edge of blue, but it's produced the two uh, one, but it's pr produced the two blue click. Okay. So if you don't buy this, then I say this is well defined, right? So we have the foundation of lower bound. Okay, so we just need to induction on the one coordinate. Okay, so we just need to uh induction on they say so we can assume that R M and exist. Uh for for what so for however let's say and you let's say this exists and uh oh, sorry. uh sorry. So we want to show let's say we want to show R M N exist. If the previous the previous a uh, smaller one is this. so is this if uh, m uh, minus one n and uh, r m m minus one is this. So we want to show that if these two exist, then this will exist. Okay. Then if this is true, then by mathematical induction, then we show that every r m exists. Okay. Uh. So. So proof basically goes as this way. So let's say I take the point. Uh okay, we're gonna maybe maybe using algebra. Let's say uh let's let's say we separate two. Let's say these are points, these are points. So I can separate the point into two. Every neighbor of so all the point other than this point separate into two. And uh let's say all these all of these are connected by red. And all of this is connected by blue. So let's call this set VR and then let's call this set VB. Okay. And then let's say uh suppose. So let's suppose. Suppose the number of vertices in this graph, total number of vertices is greater or equal to let's say uh let's say this graph G. Let's say I I suppose G is greater or equal to uh R n minus one n plus R n n minus one. This is my 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 uh assumption let's say this is large enough then then what then we can say that uh, vr plus vb is basically equals to rm minus one n plus rm m minus one minus one right because minus this point so we have this okay but but this give you something right this tell you that uh Either VR is greater or equal to R M minus one N or V B is greater or equal to R N N minus one. Right. One of it must be true, right? Otherwise that otherwise that this is less or equal to this is equal to this equal to this. Okay. Okay, so uh one of it must be true. Okay, so let's consider this to be true. So we also what we want to say is that oh now okay so now vr is greater with r and minus one in okay so this means that uh, by Ramsey theory right so just uh, write down the definition so vr contains and minus one red click right but notice but notice that uh, by our graph if vr contains if VR contains a small M minus one click, then plus this point will be M click. Okay, so then will we have M click? So we finish the proof. Okay, otherwise VR contains N blue click. Then we finish the proof. Because now we already show that contains N click. Blue click. Okay, finish. And then you can show that uh if if okay, right. So this is this is uh, trivial. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, you can you can assume it's later case. You can assume later case, and the proof is almost the same. Finish the proof. Okay. And uh, from this, uh, you can show the bound, right? Because then we can show that uh, this is like reasonable. Okay, so this is reasonable. Okay, because you can show you can show the following. You can show that R M minus. So basically, this these results tell me that uh, R M M should be less or equal to R minus one n plus R n n minus one. Okay, and uh, you can prove this by this n plus n minus two and minus one plus uh sorry this minus three and then minus two and then n minus one and plus n uh minus three okay and you can use the binomial coefficient binomial theorem right you can combine it with this okay so this is the proof and uh yeah this is the upper bound and uh, in most of the case that we don't know the upper bound is tight or not right so the famous example is that uh, r55 is a less or equal to 49 and 43. This is what we current current known, but we don't know whether this is tight or not. Okay, so hopefully this video uh give you the proof and uh, understand the RMC theory, and uh, I can show that uh, maybe in the future video that one can use this proof to show that uh, if you draw more colors, then you can also find a recursion formula. See you guys next videos.